Hi, right. today we'll do an example code on reading input from a file on your desktop. So we're going to create an input stream from your desktop and we're going to read a text file and we're going to scan that text file and into your IDE. So first we'll just start by defining the class. So public class main and then we'll just do the command line public static void main string array args we'll have to throw so throws and then we'll have to throw a file not found exception Then we will we'll have to import some stuff at the top. You can do it by just right clicking and import. If you're using IntelliJ, I think it's the same in Eclipse and it uh, should be this, maybe not the same in VS Code, but NetBeans, I'm not sure. So just import jabba.util dot scanner and then import java.io dot star so we'll create a new scanner object so we'll type scanner scan equals new scanner instead of doing system dot in we'll do new file just do quotations and then here we'll write the path name so for windows it's just c dot dot and then oops, c dot dot two backslashes uh, users computer name it's on the desktop so I'll access the desktop And then it's just an old text file from a previous video, so I just did comparable.txt. There's a harder, not a harder way, but there's a more steps instead of just doing this one line. We'll go over it after, but this way is easier. And then we'll just create a while loop. So while then we'll say scan dot has next line. So has next lines a boolean. It returns true if there is another line in the input of the scanner. The method may block while waiting for import input. The scanner does not advance past any input, so it's just returning true or false. So if it's saying if there is if there's data in the file to scan. If there's a line then return true so if there is data in the text file to scan there we're going to system dot out dot print line scan dot next line so it's different than here this is has next line and then next line is different it returns a string advances this scanner past the current line and returns the input that was skipped. This method returns the rest of the current line, excluding any line separator at the end. The position is set to the beginning of the next line. Since this method continues to search through the input looking for a line separator, it may buffer all the input searching for the line to skip if no line separators are present. So it returns the line that was skipped. It throws java.util dot no such element exception and also throws a legal state exception and has next line it throws a legal state exception returns true so it's going to return the next line so system dot out dot print line 
and then parameters for that we're going to print our scanner object of the next line so it's going to print the scanner is going to print the next line for us that should be it so do save and run So here's the output for the text file that I had. It's just some stuff from another previous video. So there is a harder, not a harder way, but it's more steps than this to, to do the same thing. So instead of creating this whole scanner line, we would have just done would have just done uh would have said file file equals new file and then we put have put the path name in here so whatever your path name is something like that and then we would have said scanner scan equals new scanner and then file because we've saved file as, the, as our path so it's kind of it's the same thing it's just this way is you have to do it twice kind of so I just do it in one line it's easier for me to remember that way just to be clear I'll just paste this in so don't confuse anyone so it would have just been like that it should compile this way so we'll just try it So there you go. <coughs> it compiled. Same same output, just two different ways to do it. Hope it helps. Thanks.